Hey guys, it's Kaylee. So today I will be doing a get ready with me on this winter makeup, hair, and outfit look. It finally snowed and I was able to film this for you guys. I've been waiting for it to snow for so many weeks and finally it snowed. So here we go. We're gonna start with the makeup first and then we're gonna go into the hair and the outfit at the end of the video. The first thing I'm using is this eyebrow pencil from NYX. I really like it because it's in a lighter color, it's in taupe, so I can just kind of map out my general shape for my eyebrows. Then I went in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, mainly focusing on the outer edges of the eyebrow. I always like to go through on both top and bottom edges of my brows to further perfect the shape, and I blend it out with my fingers. I already filmed my entire brow routine video, so if any of you are interested, I will link that down below. So I wanted to play around with these Catrice Cosmetics Camouflage Creams. So there's three different shades. The one I'm putting on right now is called Wake Up Effect. It's more of a lighter pink kind of salmon color. So I put that under my eye area. And then over top I used the yellowy one called Anti Shadow. Then I went in with the green one called Anti Red on any spots around my face that are red, like scars around my nose area, along the bridge of my nose, everywhere that I basically had redness. Then I went in with my foundation, which the one I'm using today is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 205 Natural Beige. When using this foundation, I recommend to blend it all in using a blending sponge like this one. It is from e.l.f. It's super cheap. It actually comes in a set of three. This is the largest size. And I really like to use this, kind of pat all the foundation in, and I found that it also did a really good job of blending out all of the creams that I put on underneath as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit more brightening with this concealer here from Bare Minerals on the high points of my face. So under my eyes, the bridge of the nose, chin, cupid's bow, and forehead. This is called Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Light. So again, I'm just using the blending sponge from e.l.f. to pat that in. This is one of my most favorite products ever for giving some life and color to the skin. It is by LA Girl Cosmetics. It's called the HD Pro Concealer. And in this shade in particular, it's called Almond. I have used it on myself, on other people. It always just does such a great job of making the skin look bronzed in a very healthy way. So I use it all the time. So then I wanted to keep my glow going, but it just was a little bit too uh, oily looking. So I decided to set it with an illuminating powder. It's from Cover FX. It's called the Illuminating Setting Powder in Light. So I put that all over to make sure that everything was nice and set in place, but I still had that dewy glow going on. And then I'm using this cool medium bronzer from Makeup Geek as a setting powder for the bronzer and also bringing this through with a clean blending brush through my crease area all the way from the inner to outer corners. As blush today, I decided to go in with this Milani Rose Blush. I used a fan brush to apply a very light layer of it. It's called Romantic Rose, that's the shade. And it just gives a really beautiful soft pink to the face. So I loved using that with this look. And as my highlight all over my entire face, pretty much I used this, I started by patting this on with my fingertip onto my eyelids to give a really nice light glow on them and then I also put this on the brow bones, the top of the cheekbones and down the nose. I set on the eyes just a little bit with that cover effects powder just so that I wouldn't crease. But I really loved the way that this looked nice and glowy and pretty and kind of like little snowflakes. Like I have little snowflakes all over my face. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to save this look specifically for when it was snowing. Okay, so then, um, oh by the way that highlight was called What's Up by Benefit. I'm gonna put that down in the description box as well as all the other products I'm using. The lashes that I put on today are Daisy from Kiss. And then I'm going through with that complicated cool medium uh, bronzer shade from Makeup Geek again and putting this right through the lower lash line and bringing it up into my crease area. So the reason I like to do this is because it helps to make the eyes look bigger, but it's a very diffused, softer kind of effect, which I love for this look. For the lips, I went in with the Taurus Lippy Pencil from ColourPop first. I love the formula of these. They're very creamy and easy to use. And over top, this is, guys, this is seriously my 
favorite lip product that I have used in a really, really long time. This is going to become my go-to lip product right here. I love this color so much. Okay, so it's called Catrice Cosmetics Matte Lip Artist 6-Hour Lipstick, and it's in the shade 070 First Brown Ticket. And yes, it really does last a long time, by the way. I wore it through the entire day and it pretty much stayed on without me needing to touch it up. It's very velvety and soft and honestly, it makes my lips feel great. And I don't even notice that there's anything on them. Like it doesn't have that lipsticky feel, which I love. So I did some MAC, or not MAC, that's Makeup Forever miss and fix to set the makeup. And also before that, I did a little bit of mascara on both top and bottom lashes. Okay, so for my hair, I wanted to go for like a really straight look. So I straightened out my natural hair first and then I put in my extensions. I have a link down below for you guys. They are Lexi Hair Extensions in Chestnut Ombre. I have a three clip weft on the very bottom layer. Two four clip wefts clipped together for either side, so four total on the middle section of hair. And then a three clip weft on the very top section of hair. I just split my hair with a middle part and then I put my hat on. I wanted to do the middle part so that I had equal hair on both sides. I went through and brushed out my hair extensions to blend my natural hair into the extensions. And then I took my really, really old GHG straightener and ran it through my hair and the hair extensions at the same time. But when you're doing this, you just really gotta make sure that you're holding at the top as you're pulling the straightener down through the extensions. Otherwise, especially if you didn't tease before clipping the extensions in, they will come out or possibly pull your own hair out. So make sure you're holding it at the top as you're pulling through so that way you don't have any problems there. But I love this straight hair look with like any time that I'm wearing a hat. I just think it looks really cool and sleek. And I feel like it, it lets the makeup shine and the outfit shine more. Um, so yeah, I just ran my straightener through my hair a few times. My straightener's so old though, like I said, it like doesn't really work anymore. I actually need to get a new one, so hopefully soon. If you guys have any recommendations for me for straighteners that you really like, let me know down in the comments. I always get so many questions from you guys about my hair color. I always just ask for really warm caramel highlights and I actually had my hairstylist dye my hair extensions to match my hair color. So yeah guys, that is it for my makeup and hair tutorial look. So am digging this right now for winter. Guys, I think it's really pretty and natural looking, not too much and I think it goes really well with a lot of different looks. So as for my outfit, I wanted to dress really comfy and warm. It was so cold outside. So my sweater that I am wearing is actually from a company called Garage Clothing. I think, I believe it's a Canadian company, but I've been like a huge fan of their clothes for a while now. They actually sell a store in one of the malls near me, but they sell clothes online as well. They have really cute stuff, very like limited selection of stuff, but really cute stuff. And then my jacket is from Zaffle. I actually did a haul video recently where I featured this jacket and a bunch of other stuff that I got from that online website. They have really, really good prices. This jacket in particular, I just fell in love with it because I love how there's faux fur on the inside. It's insulated to keep me warm. And then there's also fur on the hood as well. So super cute black parka kind of design. You can actually tie it at the waist if you like. I am wearing dark wash jeans from American Eagle and these booties. They have a really cute sweater cuff and they are by the brand Dirty Laundry. So that's it for this video. Please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey.